maintaining the peace of the church and my own peace. I am in a church. I know the system of the church. I know the culture of the church. I have been part of this system and culture for a very long time. I felt okay. But a time has come in my life. I see that this system and culture is not working again. I have approached authority. I have brought my suggestions. I have told them what I think should be done. I have said all these things and it seems my voice is not going anywhere. If I continue to stay in that church and to voice out and they are not listening, I'll get to a point in my life that I'll become hurt and I'll become offended because of the change I want to see. For me doing all these things and nothing is changing, what should I do? What should I do? Because if I don't leave and I stay with my offense, or if I don't do anything about it and I stay with my offense, I'll begin to involve people into what I think should be done. And before long, there is going to be a revolution in the church. We are going to rebel. I believe that for the church to maintain its peace and for me to also have my peace, there are two options that are left for me to do. One, I have to live quietly for them to continue with whatever they are doing in the church. Or two, I have to stay and keep my mouth shut. And I believe that if I know deep in my heart that this system is not going to work, I wouldn't stay and challenge authority. I will live quietly. I will seek the face of God. Whatever he tells me, if he wants me to stay and keep my mouth shut, I will stay and keep my mouth shut until he gives me further instructions as to what I should do. If he wants me to leave so I can start something or go to another church to go and help there, I will just live quietly and go so that the church will have its peace and I will also have my peace. And so if you find yourself in a situation, just as I have narrated, sit down and pray and ask yourself, what should you do? Should you stay or should you leave? If you decide to stay, then keep quiet and follow the process and be part of the system. If you want to leave, then live quietly without creating any confusion so that the church can also continue to do whatever they are doing. You will have your peace. The church will also have their peace. And then there will be no confusion. The Bible says that God is not the author of confusion. He doesn't create confusion. Confusion is created by the devil. And it is carried out by men. I did a video like that. And so let's be careful of how we feel and how we are treated and how we want things to be changed and done that we are not being noticed or we are not being taken seriously. I pray that the Holy Spirit will minister to anyone who finds himself in such a situation. May the Holy Spirit guide you as to taking that right decision that will help you and also help the church. May God bless you. May God be with you. If you have any thoughts or anything you want to share, just go to the comment section and let's talk. I know that whatever that is going on, God will make a way for you and for the church to be at peace. May God bless us all. Amen.